reading it. Finally, I've been reading it since I was eight. She's been reading it since before she could read. So Our we've parents. been doing this the whole time, like since they came to America. So Our mother used to read them to us in her chair. So we read them all, and we're really excited just to find out how it ends. I mean, J.K. Rowling, she she's like she has taken a lot of stuff from like other people, like you know, like actual like mythology and stuff. But just she's like she's incredible because how can you put so many things into a series and like everything comes together at the end? It's amazing. Um, I like how it's fantastical and but at the same time doesn't realistic, doesn't play into a lot of the stereotypical fantasy things. It kind of has a life of its own, and I like that about it. She keeps it realistic. She doesn't make it so far-fetched that it could be completely unbelievable, though it is fancy. Like, when we all turned 11, we were all sitting there going, please, 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 and it didn't happen. And some of us, when we waited when we were 12, we were like, maybe it's a year different. <laughs> My personal theory is that um, Harry is the final Horcrux, and he's going to die, but Voldemort will be defeated. I feel, I think, personally, that Harry and Voldemort would have to kill each other. Yeah, I think they'll both die. Yeah. And I think other good characters are gonna die. But it can't be a good ending. No ending's a good ending. Oh, my, my life is over. Yeah, I feel like a, a yeah. big part of my life is gonna be ended, because I just grew up reading Harry Potter. It's, yeah. It's, it's like our childhood is over.